up? It's Zay here, aka Left Thumb Stick, and welcome to Toes of a Sniper, episode 19. And yes, I'm wearing a Luce Libre mask. Compliments goes to the chef. My boy Mac uh, sent me this. Uh, it's pretty tight, you know. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, kind of Ray Mysterio, Black Mama, if you want to call me. You know, that's a good name. If you want to call me that, but uh, yeah, guys. Um, this is a special. Um, Tells of a sniper, uh, mainly because uh, I've been getting a lot of messages and I've been getting a lot of comments. People asking me, left thumb stick, how do I snipe on black ops? Left thumb stick, how do I snipe? Left thumb stick, how do you get these shots? Guys, the thing is, is that practice makes perfect. And patience, and two of the good tips that I'm going to give you uh, one main one is using the objects around the map, and one thing is, you know, this thing I call the uh, pop shooting. So, we're gonna discuss first. We're gonna go over um, basically the basics of quick scoping. Now, a lot of people get this wrong. They think they can just rush into their shot. They think they can uh, move while quick scoping. You can't do that. All right. This is not a tutorial, but this is a, a quick guide. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, I didn't want to make a tutorial because I think mostly, mainly, what you guys need to do who, don't, who do not know how to snipe is to go in a private match with your buddies. Practice quick scoping. It doesn't have to be on Black Ops. It could be on NW2. It can be on Call of Duty 4. These little tips that I give you, use them on any Call of Duty, and they might just might help out uh, some of your skills, polish them up, whatever. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm the greatest that ever was, but I am saying that I can help you just a tad bit. So um, we're looking over uh, some Nuketown. I'm in Nuketown right now. I'm facing the uh, wall. You shoot a couple of shots right here, and notice how some of the shots are sticking into the box but this shot right here in particular is not um some of the shots are out because i shot before i scoped in all the way for my timing see timing is very important um everybody has their certain type of timing some uh, some people black scope and black scoping is where you zoom in you can't even see a target and you scope in but you have a general area on where the target is so use that have patience learn your timing go into private match play with some buddies do whatever and you will so there we go uh the next thing we're going to cover guys pop shooting i like to call it pop shooting some people call it drop shotting whatever um but for a sniper i call it pop shooting um this thing right here so now say in particular we're going to use something um say if we have um da -da -da -da. say we have a barrel in front of us okay between me and you um, say there's a barrel in front of us, you're the guy with the assault, I'm the guy with the sniper. Now, save. I come up behind this barrel, and I shoot, I miss. Now, you turn around, you see me on a red dot, you turn around, you start laying down a trigger. Now you're spraying and spraying. What I'm going to do is drop down behind that barrel to give me some type of protection, okay? You're shooting, you're shooting, you're trying to figure out where I'm at, and in a split second, I jump back up. And then I snipe you, quick scope. That's called pop shooting. Now that's something that I told you guys to use the objects around the map to get a better shot. Um, I didn't. I guess I didn't define that enough in order to uh, help you guys out. But that's what I mean by using objects around the map in order to do that. Um, I may even listen to the clip of your gun ending. I may listen to you about to, you, you know you're reloading. And then I'll jump back up and shoot you because that's where you're most vulnerable. You get what I'm saying? Some people call that cheap. Some people say that's dumb. I call it smart. You get what I'm saying? You can use it with a red gun. You know, people even use it in MLG. It's very effective. Trust me. Um, but we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys some clips. I know this was a very, very short tells of a sniper, mainly because I felt like I needed to help some people out because I was getting a lot of messages. You get what I'm saying? Um, your questions, guys. I read them all. Um, don't think I don't read your questions. I read all those questions. I even sit there and wait for the comments to roll in because I love it. Um, but I read your questions, and if I'm I'm sorry I didn't get to your questions this week. I promise you, I'm trying to do a live commentary. I was trying to do a live commentary this episode, but I'm really trying to do a live commentary this next episode. So, um, guys, really sorry. Um, so, yes, if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up. If you didn't. I really don't care <laughs> but uh, I'm not white boy 7th Street <laughs> but uh, guys I love all you guys love all my subs fans 
etc. Whatever. <laughs> it's Zay, aka Left Thumb Stick, and I'll see you guys on the next Tales of a Sniper. Enjoy these clips and look at what I'm doing in order to get these shots. Alright, guys, peace and hair grease. It's Zay, aka Left Thumb Stick, out.